A global kickoff event streaming live to 8,000 people around the world for a major tech giant. That's what the two people I'm talking to today helped to make happen, along with me and a team of others. I'm Timo Peach. I was asked to be the host of this event by Ed Gould, creative director of Carswell Gould. And I'm also joined by Robin Waldman of Robin Creative Media, who helped make a lot of the visuals happen. Gentlemen, welcome. Hexagon MI's global kickoff in 2020. It was a physical show in Madrid, wasn't it? So how did you approach making this more than death by Zoom for a few thousand people around the world? Okay, so after we panicked about the whole plan being redone, <laughs> that's the first thing. Um, we very quickly over Christmas, with the help of Robin uh, and yourself and brilliant Shirley, were able to replan all of that content. And, you know, we've done a lot of these now in terms of large scale brand or internal events, either virtually or, or physically. And with all of them, it's about make it fun, make it come alive. Robin, the film that you ended up making for Ed, for Carswell Gould and involving all of us, it really set the production tone of the whole event. So what, we had one day in the studio together with a rather significant vehicle prop. Uh, how did you plan what we got out of that one day together under sort of COVID restrictions? Yeah, what team of creatives wouldn't want to produce a film based on the epic kind of Back to the Future movies? So initially we designed um, a motion graphics heavy trailer for the movie. Um, also featuring some live action footage from the previous year's conference. So the day in the studio, we had half a day up at the Hexagon uh, head office to kind of collate all this footage together. And one of the challenges was actually making it look like it was all filmed at the same time, which was certainly a challenge for our content creator in the studio in the edit. But yeah, we're, we're pleased to have got something really exciting that really went down uh, so well. You get points if you spot where the uh, the cut was from the real people and the the not real people in the in the film. Yes, indeed, because because we had obviously me and the DeLorean in uh, in our our studio, which was terribly exciting, and uh, and then Paolo, of course, was elsewhere. And the end result does really flow. You don't tend to think about. It doesn't really look like we weren't in the same space. So props to you. I think that when you're up against it and when you're trying to do something big and pull a lot of people into that, you need to find a theme that anyone can... You know, I turn to Robin and he's excited about it. I yeah. turn to you and you end up dressing up the whole of your room to look like Doc's workshop. It was a, it was a kind of stroke of genius, really. And How did you... Because you know, obviously for you, Timo, we started with the idea that you'd live host again. How was it pivoting for you around that? that piece it well yeah we were looking forward to making it like a tv setup where i and paolo and, and the other speakers would socially distance be in one film studio much more controlled robin could handle that with with nice lighting and everything and then yeah an extra level of lockdown meant had to do it from my shed and we were all effectively in sheds around the world again it's the advantage of when different creatives with different knowledge and expertise come together and really yeah, that, that worked well of us changing the storyline up, switching the edit up with the footage we have. And again, it, it made the impact it, we wanted it to have at the end of the day. What was some of the feedback from this, uh, Ed? It's always fun for me because I stay behind the camera, as you know, I'm a wallflower. <laughs> it's worth mentioning at this point, this is 8,000 people in multiple different countries around the world. Yeah. And when you look into some of these things, it might seem God, they threw a lot of complexity to organize that. But this is what carried it all through. And if you can get the original idea connected with a bit of pre-sent activity that the, the delegates can get involved in, and then you work on the, you know, you tie their talks in, and then you've got someone like you, Timo, dressed in the right way and theming it all the way through, and Robin, from a content point of view, pulling all of that visual content together. What you end up with isn't a, it's not a Teams meeting, it's a genuine event. It's it's something that yes. people talk about around the water cooler for yeah. the, the coming months, and they are. So the feedback was, was great, but it was, you know, and it was worth all of that work getting that.